Chairman, thank you. Mr. Secretary, thank you. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, you mentioned something that I was highlighted for me yesterday, although I'm hearing it uh, way too frequently, and that is the lack of staffing at FSA offices. Uh, and it, yesterday the Farm Bureau was in. This was a topic of their conversation with me and concern. Uh, and part of it's been described to me as the number of hours that anyone can be on a computer at a particular time or a much computer space is available nationwide. Uh, at times uh, just uh, require our farmers to sit and wait. But the larger issue is just the inability or unwillingness of the department to fill spaces uh, with qualified staff. And apparently the issue exists in which if you're a temporary employee, which USDA utilizes a lot in our FSA offices, that temporary time doesn't uh, qualify you for uh, that period to be included if you become a permanent employee. So you mentioned this in your, your uh, comments, and I, I wanted to offer my assistance in any way that I can to see that uh, the positions that need to be filled are filled and that, that the computer system is available at a longer period of time than apparently I understand it to be. Well, I want to assure you, Senator, it's not an unwillingness, and if you want to get us out here, help us out here to recruit people to the FSA, we're willing to put them on. I think the really torturous process of federal onboarding is, is a, in this day and, and, and almost uh, low unemployment is a real challenge in order to getting people to wait to be offered and onboarded in a federal job and doing all the things we have to do by re for federal regulation. I heard the chairman say his willingness to, to help in that regard. Uh, if, uh, I don't know if it's OMB or OPM, uh, one or both, uh, please consider me an ally. Thank you. Uh, I've also learned that uh, broadband providers that are structured as partnerships are prohibited from applying for RUS reconnect program. That on the surface doesn't make sense to me and I welcome somebody from the department uh, or RUS explaining that to me. If it's something that we need to change the law or you need to change the rules, which I think is more the case, I don't think this is statutory. I think this is administrative. Sounds like it would be an administrative rule. I'm not exactly sure that the partnership is being excluded, but that doesn't sound right to me either. We, we need more uh, we've used both telephone, local telephone co-ops, uh, EMCs, uh, have been big providers. Sometimes municipalities and, and counties have been uh, there. So I'm not sure what the partnership prohibition is, but we'll get Thank back with you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. As I understand it, this is the only program in which partnerships don't qualify at our U.S., uh, and I think the same may be true at FCC in regard to broadband deployment. Uh, you and I had a brief conversation before the hearing began. I'd reiterate the importance of an FTA with uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, you expressed the same uh, sentiments, uh, and we both agree that if we can pull uh, the United Kingdom away from the European uh, rules and regulations in regard their policies in regard to uh, food safety, food standards, that uh, we have a lot to, to benefit in our beef and dairy, pork and poultry industry uh, in Kansas. So I, again, offer my help in any way that I can assist you in that regard. Uh, international food aid, I wanted to raise a topic. Um, I believe we ought to increase purchases, and I've had this conversation with you in the past, of commodities uh, to put into international food, food and feeding programs uh, as, a, as an opportunity to help feed a hungry world. Seven famines ongoing. Lots, I showed you, uh, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago, a, a pile of, a photograph of a pile of grain outside an elevator, and yet people were starving around the globe. One of the things I, I now know is that we are not tapping into the Bill Emerson Humanitarian Trust, uh, which has $281 million in it. My understanding is that it requires uh, a request from USAID to do so. It's your fund, they have to request it. I had a conversation earlier this week in a hearing with, with uh, Administrator Green, and uh, he was going to pursue that concept. So I'm giving you forewarning, foretelling that uh, there's an issue that we may be able to do more uh, as we try to address world hunger. And in my final opportunity, I actually have a question in which I uh, would, would appreciate an answer. We have an ongoing issue in the Quivira Wildlife Refuge in Kansas. Uh, senior water right holders are the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Uh, junior water right holders are irrigation farmers. Uh, this is Kansas law in the priority of first in time, first in right. Um, the U.S. Uh, the, the Farm Bill gave USDA, the 2018 Farm Bill gave USDA authority to allow dry land farming 
on land enrolled in CREP, in the Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program. Uh, it was not utilized. Um, and that's an important component as we try to work out an agreement between U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and uh, farmer irrigators in that region to be able to create a CREP uh, and not necessarily just go to grassland, but to move in the direction of uh, dry land farming. We would reduce the consumption of water, obviously, but I would ask you to, uh, to take a look at this issue and I would welcome your assistance. I was disappointed FSA chose not to implement that program, the 2018 language, and uh, I need some help in getting them to take a look at that. Is it, Senator, is it a matter that we chose not to or we haven't gotten to that part yet? Well, my understanding is you chose not to implement that okay. provision in the Farm Bill as okay. compared if we're still waiting. But maybe if you find out that you're still waiting, I'd feel better about okay. that and right. can speed up the process. I know we, we prioritize many of those. That may be one of the things we have not been able to do yet, but we'll, we'll figure that out. And if, if it has been the fact we chose not to, we'll give you the reason for what that decision was. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Thanks. Appreciate you.